My name is Christian Q. Hayes. I'm pursuing an undergraduate degree in mechanical engineering technology with a minor in drilling technology. So a lot of my tasks currently have been, uh, within UH Energy has been, you know, helping with the symposiums, uh, networking, outreach between the student body and our organization to try and better inform the student population. Um, one thing for the driver of why I chose to join UH Energy was to help to get all the various UH Energy organizations to kind of come together and work together. I'm again studying mechanical engineering technology so with that being said there's tons of mechanical components that go into everything energy related whether it be clean energy renewables or um, your conventional you know uh, crude and natural gas. Um, my past work experience was actually uh, I worked on drilling rigs prior to and dealt, dealt with a lot of downhole um, facets as far as there being torsions and torques and very stress strain related stuff which is all what I'm studying so and then I actually currently work for Shell doing drilling engineering consulting for them uh, so I, I work with the stuff day in day out everything I'm, I'm studying at college is directly applicable to my job I'm doing currently. One of my main responsibilities is, is reducing NPT or non-productive time and doing tool reliability. So any of our directional drilling assets, if we have any failures, basically it's my responsibility to go in and review what was going on, whether it be drilling parameters um, or fluids being used. And, and from that, figure out why the tool failed and what we can do going forward in order to improve it and make sure it doesn't happen again. Fluid mechanics, so that's probably been my favorite class thus far. Um, it's probably because it's most directly related to my prior experience. Um, I worked a little bit doing hydraulic fracturing and then again on the drilling uh, concept. So all of that has fluids involved with all of it. And um, I just think that fluids are really interesting to study anyways. I mean, in the day, I was introduced, I guess, to a concept that I never even knew, but like glass will eventually elongate over time, but it sits there for a long enough period of time because it is a fluid. So I found that to be really interesting. Uh, and just having that, gain that knowledge and see where it's applicable to my life now um, puts me light years ahead of where I was just simply a semester or a year ago. I'm kind of concentrated on just one specific facet within drilling engineering, but if I actually became a drill, full time drilling engineer for Shell, it would be much more broad. I'm hoping after I graduate that there'll be a need for me to come over part, uh, full time with them to pursue a uh, full time drilling engineer with them, which I'll be more into casing design and drilling string construction. Uh, um, and other avenues in that where right now I'm more focused on, again, MPT and reliability of drill string components. I'm absolutely a fan of interdisciplinary learning. I feel that everybody can have something to contribute and when you work in a team environment where you have different people working from different backgrounds, most of the time you can learn something from everyone and hopefully use a little bit of each one's knowledge in order to make a better, more refined uh, product at the end.